main reason is the outstanding program and its diversity, covering all aspects uh, of medicine development, from regulatory uh, decisions, policy, uh, digital innovation, patient engagement, patient centricity, etc., you name it. It's a place to be inspired, it's a place to challenge status quo and dream a little bit and then uh, talk about how we can actually fulfill that dream, how we can work together. We, we have to re realize that we are an ecosystem between all these players and by the way also healthcare professionals. What should we do in Europe? How do we need to evolve in regulation to keep uh, pace with the science and innovation but also from the competition point of view? How can we maintain Europe as a place where uh, medicine developers want to come to, where we can really say that we do patient-centered medicine development and take patients' uh, view into account? Industry and academics are preparing for this new way of thinking and this new model of developing innovation and then bringing it to the patient. We have to implement this new way of thinking also and acknowledge that we will have to deal with new models of interaction between patients, uh, healthcare providers, academics, industry. How we can handle very complex types of clinical trials, in particular in the oncology and hematology field. What's the role of the regulation? Is the regulation fit for the future? Is it future-proof? It will be a great chance to, um, from multiple perspectives, discuss that in, in the sessions. The whole idea of putting innovation in the market is to help patients. And we have here, and we see it again, quite some discussions on how to involve patients in the whole process. But that also means how to engage patients and that also means put our responsibilities and even accountability on the shoulder of patients. It's a fantastic opportunity that this meeting offers in terms of networking. DI 2020 will be the flagship of the European DA.